us together on seclosounds.org. Good evening, it's, uh, it's Thursday night, it's 7 o'clock, it must be time for Mind Your Head. Here we are uh, on Seclo Sands, your community radio station. Um, it's a bit of a weird show tonight, we haven't got the posse, um, but we do have some uh, people in the studio um, who are having a lovely old time uh, while I do the first half hour. Um, the second half of the show tonight is going to be pre-record um, because uh, I've got stuff that I've got to do. Um, so we're going to kick off with a bit of uh, Tom Waits just to get you in the mood and I'll come back after this and we'll have a little natter. It's lovely. A uh, bit of Tom Waits uh, cracking stuff. Um, so it's Thursday night. It's uh, Seclo Sounds, your community radio station for Milton Keynes. And uh, tonight it's just me. Um, I have got in the studio uh, uh, Jimmy and Sophie and Jilly, all of whom uh, work for the Richmond Fellowship, funnily enough, uh, which is a support housing scheme for uh, people with uh, mental health needs. Um, but they're not here to talk this evening. They're here to accompany me to some comedy at the stables where I shall be shooting off uh, shortly um, through, through the show. Um, but before we go, um, uh, before I go, we've got half an hour to fill. Um, so I'm going to talk you through some of the news and what we've got coming up in the second half. Um, some of uh, the, the sad news, I suppose, really, in terms of what's happening in the world of mental health, um, the proportion of men taking their own lives in the UK has reached its highest level for more than a decade, uh, according to official figures. Um, 
The Office for National Statistics shows 19 deaths by suicide for every 100,000 men in 2013, which is nearly as much as Scotland, um, where I think for the last uh, 20 years or so it's been about 20 uh, per year. Uh, <laughs> Jimmy, uh, who's in the studio and is Scottish, seems to think this is a win. Um, uh, I suppose when you're Scottish, you've got to take your wins where you can get them. Um, Overall, there were 6,233 suicides in men and women over the age of 15 in 2013, which is 4% higher than the previous year. Um, And there are a number of reasons that people have come up with uh, for this. The legacy of the recession um, is one explanation, particularly given that suicide rates have been falling consistently um, uh, until 2007. Um, And since then, uh, the female rate has been relatively constant, but the male rate has increased significantly. Um, So in 2013, which is the last year for figures uh, available, 78% of suicides were men. And uh, the most vulnerable age group were those aged between 45 and 59, which uh, I think probably <laughs> probably makes us target audience, Jimmy. Um, but they've been increasing in, in all age groups. The positive spin on this, I suppose, is that in all age groups except the under 30s. Um, so that, I suppose, we can see as, as a more positive um, piece of news. But obviously there are uh, considerable concerns about this. Um, SANE's research shows that many suicides could be prevented if people were able to um, talk more openly about their feelings and when they could uh, seek therapy or otherwise. Um, Talking therapy, obviously, is something that we we cover quite often on the show, and whether or not there is enough, whether or not uh, it's suitable, whether or not it's um, enough for people to feel comfortable um, being able to access it, and whether or not it's affordable for people. Um, All of those are issues uh, both here and and across the country. Um, Joe Ferns from The Samaritan said, the news is sadly not surprising to us given the context of a challenging economic environment and the social impact that that brings. We need to see a greater focus at local and regional levels and the coordination and prioritisation of suicide prevention, um, especially in the areas with high socioeconomic deprivation. Um, So that's a bit of a downer to start with. Uh, The positive from this, I suppose, is that it's likely um, that what we're going to get is a a bigger focus on suicide prevention. Um, As you will have uh, heard from show one, I think it was, when we were talking about um, mental health promotion, Um, Health promotion in this country is so badly skewed in terms of physical health. Um, Over the last 10 years, average spend has been 96% of public health money has gone on physical health conditions with only 4% on mental health conditions. And that's kind of reflected really in spending more generally on the mental health, uh, on health services where uh, physical health is still way ahead of the poor relative, really, um, that is that is mental health. So the stuff that we spoke about in the first show, this series around the uh, parity of esteem, the fact that the new laws are saying that mental health and physical health must be seen equally, that we've got waiting list time targets for mental health for the first time ever. These are all very positive steps and hopefully will will have an impact in terms of what happens in terms of suicide rates moving forward. Um, it's a, a sad piece of news to start with, but I think it, it is a very current piece of news um, that, that's come out uh, today, um, th- those figures. And I think it's one of the reasons why we're here and why we do what we do is to try and make it easier for people to understand that mental health is something that we all have. It fluctuates for all of us, and the best thing to do is to feel comfortable in talking about it. So hopefully we can reduce some of the stigma and discrimination and help people get the help they need when they need it. Hello, I'm Mike Barry. And I'm Bob Bluffield. And together with Alan Mullion, we bring you The The Grumpy Grumpy Old Men on Saturday morning between 8 and 10. We take a look back at what's been happening during the week and let's just say discuss discuss it. it. Oh yes, we do play some good music as well. That's all here every Saturday morning between 8 and 10 on Seclo Sounds.
Well, that was a, a bit of a weird remix of David Gray's uh, Sail Away. Um, it's always a challenge when you come in and you go, I'll tell you what, I haven't heard any David Gray. There was a bit on the radio on the way in. Uh, we'll play some David Gray tonight. And uh, and then what you get is a, a really strange remix that you find in the uh, in the system. Um, that was David Gray, uh, Fade Away. Um, and you are listening to Seclo Sounds, uh, Mind Your Head, Thursdays uh, on your community radio station for Milton Keynes. Um, as I was saying, we're going to uh, take a look at the news for the first half of, uh, of the show tonight. Um, we touched upon the suicide rates. Um, last week, uh, those of you tuned in will remember we had uh, Joe O'Connor uh, from Compass uh, who are tackling problem drug use um, across the city. Um, and she was talking about the uh, issues around cannabis and the fact that cannabis isn't the same now as it was when I were a lad. Um, and the fact that, uh, <coughs> sorry, excuse me, um, that there were some pretty hardcore um, cannabis around and that cannabis is, is no longer really a drug that doesn't do any harm. Um, that's linked to some, uh, some new uh, research that came out earlier this week, um, which suggests that smoking potent cannabis uh, was linked to 24% of new psychosis cases. 